Hi, I'm Kelly Ficalis, experimentalist with the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. We're here today in Charters Towers in North Queensland. We will show you how we mass rear and release biological control agents for invasive weed species. As a joint project between Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries and CSIRO, funded by Meat and Livestock Australia and Australia's Federal Government Rural Research and Development Profit Program, we have been mass rearing and releasing Uupatheca cisplinensis, or UU for short, and its cousin Uupatheca volanoides, or UU2 for short, since 2013. Parkinsonia is an invasive weed species that's found in Northern Australia, throughout Queensland, Western Australia and Northern Territory. Come on in and we'll show you how we mass rear UU. UU and UU2 have been imported from South America as a biological control agent for Parkinsonia. Why they were selected is because they eat the leaflets and damage the leaves, affecting the photosynthetic capability of the plant. This in turn reduces the flowering and the seeding and helps control and manage Parkinsonia spread. So the larva can either be a limey green colour or this reddy brown colour here. They use their colours to blend in on the Parkinsonia plant. You are reared in purpose-built cages on benches in any of the three glass houses we have on site. You and you two are kept in separate glass houses and even have separate Parkinsonia plants to eat. We collect male and female moths every day to use in our adult boxes. We create the adult boxes so we have a continuous supply of eggs and larva. So we just catch them and put them in the decor boxes. We put around about six to eight of each sex in a box. You can tell the difference between a male and a female because the female has a much wider abdomen and at the end it's turned down. The male is quite thin and at the end he has little bristles that turn up. Adults mate and within 24 hours the female starts to lay eggs. After five to seven days the eggs will hatch and will start to set up cages. Once the eggs hatch from the adult boxes, we're ready to set up a cage. We grab our Parkinsonia plant that's disease and pest free and put it in here. We use an ice cream container so it can keep well watered and we've cut out the ice cream lid so that the larva don't drown. We grab our paper towel from our adult box that has our eggs all over it and put it on the plants. After about five days, we'll remove that paper towel. In the first week, the larva don't eat very much, but after that we need to add another plant from down the slab. These are the small larvae here, they're very camouflaged. By day 13, the larva are eating at maximum potential. They've eaten all the leaflets off the Parkinsonia plant. What we now need to do is replace this plant with a new one so that they have more to eat. We'll cut back this one, remove all the leaves and the branches, fertilise it, send it down the slab so we can use it again in another month. We clean the cages every day so that we don't get a fungal or bacterial buildup in the cages because this could affect our colony and have all the larva die. We need to have plenty of Parkinsonia plants in circulation for the larva to eat. After day 15, the larva stop eating and start looking for somewhere to pupate. Now this could be anywhere within the cage, it could be on the door frame, it could be at the back, or it could be on the stem here in the little grooves, underneath the lips, even on the floor. They form a silken cocoon to help protect themselves. They go through a pre-pupa, which is a soft and squishy stage, and then they harden up into the pupa that we use to release. The silken cocoon that the larva forms is also hydrophobic because Parkinsonia is found in riparian areas. So if we put them in the water here, we'll see that they'll float. Once the pupa harden, we carefully collect them and put them in takeaway containers ready for release. We count up each number that we're putting in so we know how many it's going to each site. We don't collect all the pupa from the cages. We allow four to five days for them to emerge as adults, so then we can use them in our adult boxes to start the whole process again. The UU life cycle consists of eggs, which then hatch after five to seven days into a larva. There's four instars in that larval process, taking around about 13 to 15 days. We then move into a pre-pupa, which takes two days to form that hardened pupal case, and another four to five days for the adults to emerge. The whole process takes around about 30 days to complete the life cycle. 
If you would like any more information on the biological control program for Parkinsonia or any other invasive weed species in Australia, please contact us via the call centre on 132523 or visit our webpage on www.daf.qld.gov.au.